Cinity, your digital cinema tech resource. Hi, I'm Florian from Cinity. Today I'll be showing you what you can do with our brand new Cinity databases. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the lens coverage tool. If you have already watched one of our previous videos about the camera or lens database, you might have already seen links to the lens coverage tool. The lens coverage tool binds together all the data from the camera and lens database into one tool. Let's have a look. When you first launch the lens coverage tool, you get a lot of options to choose from. Let's start by selecting a camera. I will select the Canon EOS R5C. Immediately, you see a purple rectangle below. To find out more about this purple rectangle, I scroll down to see the corresponding data box. Here, the purple rectangle is the graphical representation of the Canon EOS R5C sensor size of 36 by 24 millimeters. I can make the coverage tool more accurate by selecting the recording format I will be using. For my next project, I would like to film in 4K UHD in full frame mode. Right away, there is a blue rectangle on top of the purple sensor area. Scrolling down, there is now a new data box for the recording format. As you can see, the recording format is smaller than the sensor size. That's why the blue rectangle is smaller than the purple sensor rectangle. Now it's time to add a lens. There are six lens categories to choose from, which mirror the lens categories in our lens database. A friend of mine has a set of ultra prime lenses that I'd like to use. I was planning a few shots with a 24mm focal length. The lens image circle is now displayed on top of my selected camera and recording mode and is represented by the color orange. When I scroll down, the new data box for the lens shows me the data for my selected lens, represented by the orange color. For the graphical representation though, an orange circle means that this lens doesn't fully cover the recording mode I selected. What I could do is add a focal expander or extender to increase the image circle of my lens. I select the 1.2x expander and the image circle turned green. I can now scroll down and see another data box for the focal expander has appeared. As you can see, the focal expander has expanded the lens image circle to 45.6 millimeters which is plenty to cover the image circle of 38.72 millimeters of my recording format. There is also a handy field of view box that tells me that my 24 millimeter ultra prime coupled with the 1.2x expander will have the same field of view as a 32.2 lens on the 35 millimeter sensor. During pre-production, there were also talks about some specialty macro shots with the Laova Macro Probe. So I go ahead and change my lens from the lens selector. This lens has a very slow aperture of f14, but I have plans to combat this. My plan is to change the recording format to Super 35 4K UHD. And I see the changes in the coverage tool right away. What I can do now is adding a focal reducer or speed booster, which will give me an extra stop of light. And because the recorded area of the Super 35 mode is smaller than the full frame mode, I still get perfect lens coverage. With the lens coverage tool, you can try millions of combinations between camera and recording modes, lenses and focal reducers and expanders. You can always see full details about your lens and camera by clicking on the link in the data box and you can jump to the camera database at any time. The lens coverage tool, like all of the CineD databases, is free for you to use. But after a few changes, you will be asked to log in to your CineD account or create one for free. After logging in, you can continue using the tool without restrictions. This has been a quick guide of our lens coverage tool, which is part of our CineD databases. I hope you will enjoy browsing and comparing all the data we have to offer. Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next one.